At first glance, this may seem like a simple case of an overripe banana, but this is truly the result of a complex hidden phenomenon involving the enzyme tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is an enzyme that is best known for its role in the synthesis of melanin. Tyrosinase uses one of its two active sites to convert the amino acid tyrosine into dopaquinone, which is later transferred to melanone. Melanone, stored in cells called melanocytes, is part of what gives organisms, including bananas, their pigmentation. It is found in many plants, animals, and microorganisms. The production of melanin is responsible for the blackening of peeled fruits and vegetables, the pigmentation of tissues, which protects them from the sun, and the molting process of insects. However, a mutation in the tyrosinase gene can lead to genetic diseases such as albinism, which results in the body's inability to produce melanin, resulting in an absence of color in the hair, skin, and eye. Let's discuss in more detail how tyrosinase works. The structure of the metalloenzyme tyrosinase varies greatly depending on which species it is located in. However, the basic structure in all species contains a binuclear copper center comprised of three histidine residues bonded to each copper molecule. This binuclear copper center is the location of the active site and is where the oxygen molecule binds to create the oxy form of tyrosinase. In humans, tyrosinase contains 377 amino acids and is located on chromosome 11. It exists as a dimer in a globular formation consisting of a mixture of alpha helices and beta sheets. Tyrosinase is a rate-limiting oxidative enzyme that is responsible for catalyzing an oxidation reduction reaction. Before the oxidation rea reduction reaction can begin, the active site of tyrosinase, otherwise known as the oxy form of tyrosinase, must be formed from the deoxy form of tyrosinase. This is where the binuclear copper center comes in. To create the active site, an O2 molecule comes in and binds the two copper centers together to form an oxy form of tyrosinase. This forms the active site and allows the monophenolase catalytic reaction to begin. For the first step, as you can see, a monophenol comes in, in our case L-tyrosine, and an H plus ion is released. L-tyrosine then reacts with the oxygen and copper A to create the transition state. The transition state then goes through monophilic monooxygenation in which the monophenol becomes bonded to copper A and one of the oxygen molecules from the oxy form of tyrosinase. This begins the formation of what will eventually become L-dopa. This molecule then goes through homolytic dissociation where the L-dopa molecule is cleaved and released along with a water molecule. Once this has occurred, the deoxy form of the active site is again formed along with the L-dopa. This can then be, re be reacted with another O2 molecule, and the active site is regenerated, and the process can begin again. Once the L-dopa has been formed using the tyrosinase enzyme, it can then continue along its metabolic pathway and be converted into melanin, creating the pigmentation in tissues. However, this catalytic activity can easily be disrupted if there is a mutation in the gene or other malfunctions in the enzyme. Without the catalytic activity of tyrosinase, melanin cannot be synthesized properly, which leads to a condition known as albinism or a lack of pigmentation. Albinism is known to occur in many species, including humans, penguins, monkeys, squirrels, among other species. Those that have albinism appear to lack color in their hair, skin, and eyes, and may even have visual impairments. In humans, over 100 mutations have been identified in the TYR gene and are associated with type 1 oculocutaneous albinism, or OCA1. It is common that these mutations will often eliminate the activity of tyrosinase, which will prevent melanocytes from producing any melanin through the species' entire lifetime. This type of oculocutaneous albinism, in which melanin is completely absent throughout a lifetime, is referred to as type 1A. Those in this category often have white colored hair, light colored eyes, and pale skin that will not tan. However, it is rare for melanin production to be completely absent. Rather, it is more likely for pigment production to be 1-10% to of normal levels as there is still a small amount of tyrosinase activity present. This type of oculocutaneous albinism in which some melanin is still produced is referred to as type 1B. In this case, people are often still born with white hair, 
light colored eyes and pale skin however they may tan and their hair and eyes may furthermore gaining a better understanding of tyrosinase will result in important clinical implications in regards to genetic diseases such as albinism caused by mutations in the tyrosinase gene